Many anesthetic complications arise from human error or equipment failure. As technicians, we're learning on the job, and there's just so much going on. Not only is there anesthetic procedures, but we're trying to manage client communication, we're trying to assist the veterinarian, and we're also trying to keep procedures on schedule. There's always so much going on that sometimes we can overlook some basic, really important things like maintaining our equipment. I'm very lucky and I work with a team of credentialed veterinary technicians and we have extensive experience assisting veterinary technicians and veterinarians with their equipment and helping educate them and troubleshoot on their veterinary monitors and their veterinary anesthesia machines. Based on our interactions with the care team, the veterinarian, the veterinary nurse, we often start by asking questions about their equipment. Did you do a leak test? Did you make sure the APL valve was open? Have you made sure that you have enough oxygen in the system? Are you checking to make sure your CO2 absorbent is not desiccated? There's inherent risk with all anesthetic cases, so it's important to be prepared Midmark introduced key safety features into our anesthetic machine to help improve anesthetic outcome. The occlusion valve allows the veterinary technician to manually ventilate the patient without having to close that APL valve. The negative pressure relief valve allows room air to come into the machine if we run out of oxygen or if negative pressure has been allowed to build in that machine. Additionally, on our Midmark multi-parameter monitor, we have patent pending features that include our pre-procedural checklist, our CO2 soda lime absorbent reminder, and our ECG and CO2 catalogs. Instituting a continuous learning program can really help clinicians in building confidence and increase their competence when managing anesthetic cases. Through the Midmark Academy, our expert trainers go into your clinic in your own environment and they train you on your anesthetic machine and your veterinary monitor. Our anesthesia simulation workshop, when we come into your clinic, we set up the foundations for anesthesia. We're gonna take you through your anesthetic machine and your anesthetic monitor, and we're gonna teach you how to maintain those. We're gonna teach you those components, the theory of operation, and how to take care of that equipment properly. When we set up simulation, we take some very common anesthetic complications that we hear about on a daily basis. For instance, hypercapnia. We can simulate this same scenario. This no longer is a mannequin, this is your patient. So you will hook up your ECG leads, your blood pressure cuff. You'll hook up your CO2 sensor as you would with a real patient. And in a safe simulated environment, those technicians can have a peace of mind knowing that they're actually not gonna provide any harm to this patient. There's a really great quote out there by Dr. Robert M. Smith, and he says, there are no safe anesthetic agents. There are no safe anesthetic procedures. There are only safe anesthetists. And to me, that means that we need to be able to expect the unexpected. And to do that, I need to make sure that I have the proper training on the best equipment and that I have the right experience.